first let's start off with the um, minutes that we had to table from the August 13th meeting um, when um, I and Tom were there so last meeting it was only Pat and I and so I would move now that Tom is here with me and Pat to approve those minutes. Second Pat. All in favor? Aye. Alrighty. And then we have the meetings from the August 28th meeting um, when Tom wasn't there and Pat was there. <laughs> so Pat and I can approve those minutes and let's move so. I second. All in favor? Aye. All right. So there you have that. <clears throat> and um, somebody's coming in. So we're down to guests. Janice, you um, you had something to talk about the moment. Yeah, I I know that the road crew changed and he hired a new person, and that's when I saw in the paper that somebody had been hired, and you there was also something about putting bids out for mowing, mm -hmm. and I called Joanne the next day or next business day that she was here and told her and she gave me the phone number of the garage and told me to leave a message down there and in the past and I remember Robert Mayer when he was doing the road stuff um, and was on the select board sent me the orange book to look at but there's really not much guidance in the orange book and it's not the law it's just the guidance um, because I got really angry because they totally killed my trees um, and he said that the town owns 12 feet from center. Well, you don't own it, but you could have the right of way 12 right. feet from center. But these trees are over 20 feet from center. But they put that side deck up, mm -hmm. and they go right along and push back, and they just totally, they're just totally gone again. So this was what, like the, three or the four. The side years. branches are gone, not the whole tree. Well, there's yeah. a few sticks left at the base. But, but there's, I mean, they took down this stuff this big around, but they're hazelnuts. They don't get to be trees. They're mm -hmm. kind of like shrub mm -hmm. hedgerows. Um, so, and I got really upset when this happened, and that's when Robert sent me the book, and then they didn't do it for a few years. But So I don't know if you got somebody new, or they forgot. Yeah, well, there is mow for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. It's not, but it's not a regular it. road crew that does the mowing. Right. Right. right, somebody else, right, you hire somebody. Yeah. Right. I understand that. And I put the tape out, start here, stop there, and the tapes land in the gutter with the rest of my shrubs, trees, whatever they are. So I just don't want to get mowed anymore. I just don't want to deal with it anymore. Can I do that? Just opt out. How much road frontage are we talking about? Not a whole Not lot. Not much at no. all, hardly. might end up being the whole town, but, you know, I mean, uh, it's just hitting those places where it's, you know, really infested early, before it flowers, and then, you know, doing the, the regular roadside mowing, you know. But there's really no, there's not going to be any sap in that unless people get out and pull it, and they, they had a whole big well, thing, right, on front porch form. Did you see that, Harlan? Well, I've been pulling mine. Right, me too, and Walter's, and I've got yeah, it under control, there's not you know? a stick of it on my land or Walter's land. But it's just that it comes in, people below me don't yank it, and it comes in yeah. on the machine, you know. And if you can just keep up with it for a couple of years, you can kind of get it, you know, under control, just by pulling the stuff that's flowering. You know, I mean, you got all these little things, but they don't do anything. It's the ones that flower and put the seeds out. You, if you keep up with those, you, you can get it. So anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out there. I just have to think of it. And say something, I'd forget it. The, um, so I guess, the, it was, so you saw it in the paper when we asked Martha to mention about the mowing and if people didn't want it or if there was, at that point, we we're also asking for really bad spots because we didn't know that the, we were going to get a bid that was going to do the whole town, you know. And so I guess next time just, um, well, I guess she called you 
but it didn't yeah. um yeah it was probably not the town garage was not not who to call because they were not the um not the ones doing it but we'll um try again to not do it next year i guess it's worth putting it in the paper i guess because that's how you so are you well, I, don't, I don't get the paper and i don't always read it i just happen to volunteer at the library on saturdays yeah. and once in a while i pick it up or i wouldn't yeah. have but i usually am around and hear them coming but I first, I don't know when they did it, but I noticed it Tuesday. Well, I noticed it Wednesday morning, so they must have done it sometime Tuesday, and I wasn't around. What about some kind of list, maybe that people could just get on? That's what I was. Yeah, yeah like the town, know, like just town. Sign up and we yeah. won't touch it. Whole list. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be perfect. It's true because when you contract, you can hand the mower. Here's the no exactly. mow. Here's the no mow list. Right? And we've got X amount of miles that don't need to be mowed. So. so you're considering having a do not mow list or something? Is that what it's something I could? I think a no mow list should go with, mm -hmm. with the contract. Contract. Yeah. Right. Yep. Exactly. So who does who interfaces with the contractor if not the road crew? Well, select, 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 select board. board. Okay. All right. So do you guys want to be the first two on the no no mo list? Yeah, yes, first. absolutely. You'll be the no first two seconds. Yeah. I forgot to put the tape on. Yeah. Okay. As long as they know when the tape is I mean, it's up, definitely no mo because I put it in the tape. And we can't just like expect to them to be right. mowing and reading the map and saying, Actually, oh, yeah, stakes okay. with tape would be better. Stakes, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like right next to the road, a couple of great stakes with some tape on it. Maybe, I, we should, I, 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 maybe we should just set a standard for uh, so for that, you know, yeah. stakes and tape or whatever. Just say, look, yeah, so you don't want anything to do it. This is what, this yeah. is what a homeowner needs to do. It's going to take and three then, or four years for this to come back, and I'm right, really considering putting fencing up. If they crash into the fencing with their mower, then their mower's going to go. Address number, uh, that, you know, but I don't know how else to yeah. stop them from doing it. I had a great basket of hazelnuts last year. I'm not going to have any for three or four years now. I grow hazelnuts too, so I understand. It's not an easy thing to do when you battle the, years. the deer and the bear and the chipmunks mm -hmm. and the squirrels, but you know, I did get some last year. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, it's unfortunate. So what we need to do is get out our 2019 day planners and make sure that this is in place next year when we do mowing again. Yeah. And last year we didn't even do mowing. So right. Just right. Bids. right. There's, yeah. no, there's no bridge from one to the other. RFPs. So, Martha, that would be. Yeah, I'm just saying you're considering putting together a do not mow list to be given to the mowing contractor next year, and homeowners are also going to be urged to put out tape and signs areas of their property that they don't want mowed. Is that? You don't want to mow either? <laughs> happy to have it mowed. <laughs> I would just offer a comment that some of the roads that get mowed are, are they feel like one car wide roads. Um, and there is a point when the trees are going to start growing into the road yeah. mm -hmm. and become a problem and we know what happens there. Well that's why the bid specified a, a, you know, a setback. And it's 15. Vertical mark, yeah. It's 15, 15, 15 feet. feet, yeah, off the. Well, these are way beyond that, and they're up. Is it 15 on top feet from the, the center ditch? line? Is that what you're saying? Center. That's what they say. 15 feet from Depends center of the road. road. Depends, Depends on the road. Depends on how wide the road is. No, because I live on Main Street, and I remember someone telling me something. Your street is state highway. That's state highway. That's state highway. Yeah. Because when I planted my oak tree, that you know, you were in the state right of way. By one foot, they told me, and yeah. I'm like, "Well, it's 20 feet tall now. I can't do anything about it." So. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. Apologies on that. Uh, we've got um, speaking of roads, we don't have anybody here from the road, but we do. Uh, we can announce we have a third member of the road crew again, which is Teddy Smith, who knows the ropes and has been there before. So we um, got full contingent for this winter and um, we've got the um, got trucks are all um, awake and ready so let's not talk about it and jinx it. <laughs> 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 did they get the new one yet? Yep. Yes. Yes. yes did. 550 yeah. is all set. Awesome. Um, and so a new, a new truck is arrived? Yeah, a new one ton top truck. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
four. Another small one? <coughs> Medium. Yep, 550. <laughs> Medium. Right, not, yeah. not a pickup, a 550. <laughs> yeah, like the one a small pin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 Yeah. That solved a lot of problems. Yeah. The, um, from Joan couldn't be here tonight, so we have a few updates from her. The um, most important one, I guess, is back to the wastewater project, which is just about done. Okay. Just about done. And last meeting, we were able to keep from increasing the bond um, by skipping the not telepathy, the telemetry, <laughs> <laughs> and um, which is kind of like telepathy, I guess. But, but, um, but we've been advised that we should still raise the bond by twenty thousand dollars to cover the eight to ten thousand increases that we know we have, and just to have a little bit of extra elbow room over that. And so, I would move to pass a resolution to, to do that, increase the bond to 20, another 520,000. I'm sorry, I didn't quite get what the bond was for. Was this is for the out. wastewater, um, the the um, septic field. The school? Behind no, the no, school, yeah. School. yeah. Um, behind the school, like $20,000 more? Yeah. And um, then we have the um, two change orders to sign from the last meeting, which are here. You want to second that resolution? I'll second yeah. it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Got it done now. also have the municipal resolution for the <coughs> municipal planning grant to address the zoning and the planning commission. And I don't know if we need to read this whole thing. Whereas the municipality of Rochester is applying for funding as provided by in the FY19 Budget Act and may receive an award of funds under said provisions and whereas the Department of Housing and Community Development may offer a grant agreement to this municipality for said funding, and whereas the municipality is maintaining its efforts to provide local funds for municipal and regional planning purposes, or that the municipality has voted at an annual or special meeting, like tonight, to provide local funds for municipal and regional planning purposes. So I might move to accept that resolution. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so All right. You can all wake up now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. So the resolution came from where, though? Somehow I didn't get that part. Um, this is the town resolving to um, apply through Two Rivers for a municipal planning grant. Grant. It's towards the town plan? Yeah. Planning yeah. Zone. Towards the planning and zoning. Through two rivers out of creature, right? Yeah. Okay. been studied and analyzed in terms of the controlling um, stormwater runoff and um, and the site right behind the town office here where the um, basically where the snow is plowed has been uh, proposed for a, a site for an in-ground chamber system to filter and treat runoff from the snow pile and also in summer and it would be able to be driven over and um, 
and paved. And just, um, I guess, that, um, that's that's their proposal. Right away. No, it's not something that happened right away. That's just informational. That's what they've identified as uh, the low hanging fruit in terms of. Um, Initial project at the White River Partnership. So they they dug three holes in three different mm -hmm. sites, and so this is the site that they feel needs that drainage the most over the other two. Or is that going to connect with the other? No, two? it's not going to connect with the other two. I think this is the um, I don't know if it's the easiest, but it, it it seemed like it was the less complicated of that. I think it's a, a starting point. And they'll be encouraging us to uh, place snow on that spot. I don't know. I, have to that, that. To, I, would, I wouldn't think on that spot because then it would melt and run off beyond that spot. But the, um, all the runoff from the snow that's plowed up on the bank to the, the left here by the... Um, from this parking lot. From that parking yes. lot over there. All mm -hmm. basically runs down to that point mm -hmm. to the river. So. That's only been plowed that way for the past three years. It was never done before. So we go back to how they used to plow it so that it's not Which a problem is? right now. I don't know where the heck they put it, but they sure as hell didn't pile it up over there like they have been. Hmm. It was not put up that way. Did they take it away? A uh, very possible, because they used to plow pretty much just to the end of the where the grass starts, maybe a little bit beyond that, but they never went that far back up until like three years ago. Mm -hmm. So if that's creating a problem, maybe what we can do is try to avoid that for now until the dust settles with all the other grants and we can sit down mm -hmm. and figure out how much this is going to cost us. This, this system is just for snow in this area? I don't think so. It seems to me that this would be addressing summertime rainwater and also running yeah. off of the whole parking lot. So I guess, well, this is just I think informational about what they've, you know, what they'd like to talk further on. So uh, there's to be continued. To be continued, just for um, informational. And those were um, Joan's updates. We I have some. On the business. <laughs> yeah. And we have a proposal to put in the paper uh, a bid for the um, <coughs> actually soliciting two separate bids for the painting of this building, one for the whole building and one for um, only the front of the building. So we'll see what comes in and what we can afford <coughs> back and depending on what bids. And, um, you were suggesting we put it to be completed by date on there? Also? I, I think that we should if, yeah. if, if, we, if we want it to be completed before this winter or we'll next it. winter. Sure. We're pushing. We're pushing. Well, you were just painting, painting right? That's right. It's a little tough. I've been painting it. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to catch up on that full stuff. I think as long as it's completed in this fiscal year. Yeah, it might be better look toward the spring than right now. Unless, unless we get another warm-up. I, I don't care, but I do, I do know that people will look at their schedule and they'll, it'll determine whether they bid or not. Mm -hmm. Depending on the deadline. So should we say by the end of this fiscal year? 6-30-19. No, let's say spring 5 one nineteen because I want to have the bills in before 6-30. So to be completed by the painting work to be completed by the end of the fiscal year? Or say or May 1st, 2019. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, May, I mean, May 30, let's say May 31st. Hey, right. You might get some nice weather and somebody but might want to jump yeah. on it this fall. Yeah. Yeah. If it's yeah. the front of the building, it might not, yeah. you know, that might be what we end up doing. And when do we want to have bids by? Today's the 10th. Do you want to try for the 21st? Well, Is that too soon? It's like well, two and it's a half not, um, a week and a half. If they're going to try and possibly paint this fall. I think it's the sooner the better. But no, well, they're not going to see right. this until yeah. well, Thursday the 13th, so we can't ask for them so before the 14th. Well, we might as well have them be for our next meeting. Right, yeah. 21st. 21st. Okay, but you're, you're putting that in the official bid section of the paper, right? Yes. Okay. 
So bids due by the 21st of this month? Yeah. Russia. Remind me again what EMP. Essential maintenance practices. This is lead stabilization. Or abatement. So unless anyone else has anything exciting they'd like to talk about, I think that we're, um, this might be one of the quicker meetings we'd had in a while. I should come more often. Yeah. <laughs> Nancy, you have something. Well, I just have a, a, a thought. We don't have a recreation director any longer. And would it be appropriate to, rather than just advertising on the website, to put something in the paper and perhaps draw. I think it was in the paper and they're working with Caitlin. It was in the paper? I thought that, uh, I thought um, Carrie was going to put it in the paper. As far as a bid or something? You mean? I'm not no. a bid, I mean, I'm um, like a... So, I they have Caitlin Vassar. I couldn't hear you. Caitlin. Caitlin Cutting Vassar. She's, she's working with Norm. Really? Uh -huh. Okay. To step in, yep. So she and Nate will probably take that on, oh, which would be perfect because they've got. That's good. Yeah. So is that something yeah. that I? I wouldn't say yet. Okay. Because I don't know. The that particulars. Was just a norm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, that would be really nice. I mean, I noticed that Hancock has gotten a recreation committee going themselves and are doing some stuff too. So it'd be good to have one here. We have a committee, but it hasn't done a whole lot recently. Yes, sir. There's a new bingo. Nothing that I've heard of, no. no. Nothing that I've heard of. Any new invoice? Nope. Nope. Just those slow, lawyerly wheels turning. Okay, well, thank you, everybody, for stepping out on the rainy night. Thank you.